Merry Christmas, church. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's on. It's just, it's the normal thing of people not paying attention. That's just me, though. <laughs> Good morning, church. Especially those of you out in the um, fellowship hall. They're still getting ready for the play, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to worship on this Christmas morning. Welcome to worship on this Christmas day. You'll notice something. I thought this was particularly ironic. We had this big, dramatic scare of this massive winter storm that was going to hit. And it got cold. It was cold, right? That wasn't good. But notice we got more snow last night and this morning than we did in that blizzard that we were supposed to get. And so <laughs> I think that's what's happening right now is that people are like, but pastor, it's snowing, and it's Christmas morning. <laughs> so, but welcome. Welcome to worship on this Christmas morning. Welcome to worship. Um, today is uh, not only a special day because of the celebration of the Nativity of our Lord, which is the proper title for Christmas Sunday, right? The Nativity of our Lord. It's the birth of Jesus, right? But it's not just about something that happened 2,000 years ago. It's what God is doing in our midst right now. And so we carry both of those at the same time. And so it is good to worship today. It is good to gather together and celebrate. And as I said, our worship service is going to be a little bit different this morning. Um, we'll start with the usual way. We'll have a call to worship. We'll do hear the lessons we will um, sing songs, but we also have got just an absolute treat for you this morning um, as the young folks of our congregation are putting on a Christmas play. And so we will do that in due course. But at this point, um, I'm going to ask everybody to go ahead and stand for the call to worship. As found in your bulletin, we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus, the bright morning star, shines light in the world. By day and night, he shines for all to see. Jesus was born in the midst of injustice and poverty, that the world may see the justice and richness of God. God so loved the world that God sent Jesus so that all who believe in him may not perish but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of our lives. Sing to God a new song, a song of hope, joy, and peace around the world. Let us pray. Gracious God of heaven and earth, You've thrown a lifeline to us in our darkness, a beam of light that shines through Jesus. Though born in a manger, he is the firstborn of all creation. Though crucified on a cross, he is the Lord of life. Fill us with the wonder and joy of his presence in the world and in our hearts. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Good morning, David. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. And Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, in Michigan, uh, we got a little bit of something called snow. And we have that uh, cold weather to follow it. <laughs> However, it's part of the time and seasons that we're in. We know in Ecclesiastes it talks about there's a time and a season for everything. And believe it or not, the 
the best part is that we're celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. We know other, and we know others have different perspectives and all of that, but I, I know we're choosing to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And that's why I'm so thankful that we. I'm just thankful that this is the day that we celebrate Him, and also the day that He also <laughs> gave His life for us. And we thankful that He gave us life as well. Amen. So that's why I say every day is a what? A good day. A good day. Amen. So some of goes goes like this. Um, uh, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our Gracious God, we do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from you. Bless those who will read to us the scriptures. Make us hunger for the word of life. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Good morning and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Our first lesson comes from Isaiah 62, verses 6 through 12. Amen? Amen. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have posted sentinels all day and all night. They shall never be silent. You who remind the Lord, take no rest and give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem and makes it renowned throughout the earth. The Lord has sworn, sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm. I will not again give your grain to be food for your enemies. And foreigners shall not drink the wine for which you have labored, but those who garner it shall eat it and praise the Lord, and those who gather it shall drink it in my holy court. Go through. Go through the gates, prepare the way for the people, build up, build up the highway, clear it of stones, lift up and ensign over the peoples. The Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to daughter Zion, see your salvation comes, his reward is with you and his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord and you shall be called, sought out a city not forsaken. Here ends the reading of the first lesson. Amen. Amen. Our psalm for this Christmas day is Psalm 97, and we will read this responsibly. That's Psalm 97. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his adversaries on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples behold his glory. All worshipers of images are put to shame. Those who make their boast and worthless idols, all gods bow down before him. Zion hears and is glad, and the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Light dawns for the righteous, and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O the righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Good morning, church. Good morning. The second lesson comes from Titus chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. Amen. For we ourselves were once fool, foolish and disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, despicable, hating one another. But when the goodness and loving kindness of our God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us not because of any works of righteousness that we have done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Amen. Here in the reading of the second lesson. Amen.
Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter, verses 1 through 20. Luke writes, In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their town, own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, the Messiah. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem. And see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God. For all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the gospel of our Lord. Amen.
Long ago, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph. That virgin's name was Mary. Also long ago, the first census took place, and Mary and Joseph had to leave the city of Nazareth and travel to Joseph's hometown of Bethlehem to register for the census as directed by Caesar Augustus. To get from Nazareth to Bethlehem, Mary and Joseph had to walk about 70 miles, and stars were chosen due to their brightness and ease of identification to guide them to their destination. Now there were shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, All angels say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Mary and Joseph were approaching the inn, looking and asking for a room. Mary and Joseph made a pallet in the stable and stall in the stable stall, and it was there that Jesus was born. All gather around to see the newborn baby. The shepherds from the fields enter and say, And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw Jesus, they told everyone what the angels had told them concerning the child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. And this message had to spread throughout the land. And three wise men, Caspa, Bethesar, and Melchior, followed the star to arrive with gifts for Jesus.
give us love, peace, and joy. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. thank Terry Maria, the entire Maria family, and everybody else who has participated and helped. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask them all to come back in. Come back in. <laughs> They're looking at me like, we've done the thing. <laughs> come in, come in. you got to take your curtain call. Come on in, everybody. Come in. Amen. Amen. Thank you to all of you for putting on the play this morning. It was perfect. It was perfect for Christmas morning. Thank you for your hard work and putting this all together. Well done. Thank you, everybody. Amen. I was thinking that it's probably been a few years since we've had a Christmas play here at Genesis. So how awesome is that? Right? Thank you. That's just perfect. It feels like Christmas, right? It sets the day up perfectly. Um, I've just got a very small number of announcements this morning, um, mostly just to say thank you to everybody who has done so much for all of the different things that have been going on over the last month here at Genesis. Um, putting on the Christmas play, the adopt family, um, kitchen renovation, all these other things that are still going on. Um, I would have to read through, I think, essentially the whole directory um, to thank everybody for all the, um, the, the faithful ministry that's being um, done right now. But thank you. Thank you for um, all that you do and for surrounding this family of faith with your love and your faithfulness. It is deeply appreciated and... Um, Thank you. Um, it is a good sign of the growth and the continued forward progress of our congregation that even in the midst of all of this, it's all still happening. And in fact, we're getting back to where we were before COVID started, um, which is something I wasn't sure about. Um, but the faithfulness of this congregation is as apparent as ever. And we do continue to let our light so shine. Um, we have a birthday this week, just one that I know of. There's a certain young man, um, young, young man, a young man. Let's just, we're, we're focusing on that. Um, Roland Chandler celebrates his birthday December 27th. 
It's, it's nice that we could decorate the, the sanctuary for your birthday, Roland. I mean, it's, you know, we have a whole week of parties and stuff like that just because we knew that Roland was born. So, you know, we're just making sure we're getting our priorities straight, right? <laughs> so, um, happy birthday um, in a couple of days, Roland. I hope everybody has an opportunity to, after worship today, go home, be with family, be at a big blowout dinner or a nice quiet little affair. Um, it is a time to put your feet up um, for a little bit and then um, and soak in what Christ has done for us in this time. All right. I don't have any other announcements. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to um, take time to set the table for communion. And we will continue with the prayers of the church. stand for the prayers. With wonder and thanksgiving for Christ's coming into the world, we pray for the church, the life of the earth, and the whole human family. The church in every land makes a joyful noise to herald your coming, O God. We give thanks for poets, musicians, hymn writers, actors, and all who give voice to our praise and for all who lead the church's worship. God of grace, hear our prayer. Bring heavenly peace to this world and an end to armed conflict. Raise up leaders in every nation who will honor human rights and establish equal justice for all people. Give courage to all who speak out against oppression and advocates for the powerless. God of grace, hear our prayer. Guard the lives of any in danger, especially those who work to protect others. 
lead any who are in desperate circumstances to sanctuary, help, and safety. Grant rest to the weary and soothe those who are troubled. We pray especially this day for those we name silently or aloud. God of grace, hear our prayer. Bless all who gather to worship on this holy day. Be present at our tables and celebrations. Watch over those who travel. Sustain charities, outreach ministries, and food pantries that give generously to people in need. God of grace, hear our prayer. In Christ, we have beheld your glory. Full of grace and truth, we give thanks for those in every generation who reflect the light of Christ. May their witness shine forth in our time. God of grace, hear our prayer. Pondering the mystery of eternal love made flesh in Christ Jesus, we commend all for whom we pray. God of grace, hear our prayer. Gracious God, it would have been enough for you to give us the fruit of the earth by which we live. But in this meal, by your promise, you also give us yourself. Use what we have gathered here in feeding the hungry world with your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, almighty God, for your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. As Mary and Joseph went from Galilee to Bethlehem and there found no room, so Jesus went from Galilee to Jerusalem and was despised and rejected. As in the poverty of a stable Jesus was born, so by the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Holy Spirit. As your word became flesh, born of a woman on that night long ago, so in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and gave it for all to eat, saying, This is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his birth and life among us, his death and resurrection, we await his coming again when all things will be restored in him. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on all gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. May they become for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. To you all glory and honor are yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us join together to pray the prayer that Christ himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The mystery hidden for the ages is revealed for us in this sacred meal. Come, behold, 
and receive your God. Let us adore Christ the Lord. Amen.
because she still has two people. Let us join together in the post-communion prayer. Let us pray. Radiant God, with our eyes we have seen your salvation, and in this meal we have feasted on your grace. May your word take flesh in us, that we may be your holy people, revealing your glory made known to us in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, and the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. the Savior is born, go in peace, proclaim the good news. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.